Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. So today I am sharing a library tour. I am very excited about that because we have been working on, well, my husband, <laughs> not me really, but my husband has been renovating. He's been laying floor down and painting and doing all kinds of things throughout the house. And so I have always wanted a room that was specifically a library. And so that's what he has done. He has taken this this is a very small bedroom and he has uh, put up shelves and put a desk in here and created me a beautiful library space. And so I wanted to share that with you because if you're like me, you like library tours. You like to see how everybody has their books arranged on their bookshelves and what books they have on their bookshelves. And so this room has um, shelves on this side behind me and on this side and then a little bit on this back wall and then there's a closet where I'm going to keep like my camera equipment and my book cart I'm going to just uh, roll into well that's where it is I'm going to roll it into that closet and that'll just be extra storage space for things like for booktube and things like that so I want to take you around and let you see uh, this beautiful space. Thank you to my husband for doing this for me. He built it all by himself and he did a great job and I told him what I wanted and he gave me even better than uh, what I wanted. So when I come in here in the mornings now, I just look around and smile. It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm just so happy to be in this space because now the way that I had it set up before, you saw that big a wall of books behind me. Well, it was a very tiny space. This isn't that that big but that was really tiny and you just couldn't see everything I had a lot of things in boxes and stacked up and you just couldn't see all of my books now I see what I have and so this is a lot easier for me to come in and choose a book because the way that I had them set up before I would go to the store and buy books that I already had on my shelf and so now I can see everything just at a glance and I love it so thank you to my husband for doing this it is a dream come true and i can't wait to share it with you but i do apologize that i am not a cameraman <laughs> i am not very good with the camera and the lighting's weird because i am climbing up on the step ladder to show you the top shelves because they are higher so that you can be at eye level with the camera and i did my best that's all i can say i did my best so here we go so we're going to start on this side because this is, um, there are shelves up here and then down at the bottom is where my husband built me a little um, desk area so that I could work here too. And he put two cabinets so that I could, you know, file away some things as well. And then um, this space right here in the middle, I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. I'm thinking about just putting a, putting a, uh, maybe a pretty piece of artwork there or something just you know something inspirational uh, to go with you know the things that I enjoy in here and then I have my <clears throat> old desk chair y'all I know a lot of people think that this is the ugliest chair in the world but I love this chair and I do not think it's an ugly chair I love it it reminds me of Bob Newhart from the 1970s not the Newhart from like the 80s but Bob Newhart, the original show, and it looks like something he would sit in um, as a psychologist. <laughs> so I just love it. It's very comfortable. And when I am filming, that is usually the chair I'm sitting in. It swivels around, and it rolls, and it has a little a lean-to when you're sitting in it. It's super comfortable, and I found it at a yard sale for like, I think $25. <laughs> so I loved it and it's in great shape. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you um, each side and I'm gonna pull over, um, I'm gonna get on this uh, step ladder. Hold on just a sec. Okay, I got on the ladder so you can see. So at the top, I have uh, my Shakespeare and just some old classics up here. I hope that I am showing uh, titles. That last book right here is Melmoth the Wanderer. That is a classic gothic and I still haven't read it but I want to. Um, and then I have just some more classics here. 
and that's some old classics. I don't know if this is showing up or not. And then on the next shelf, I just have, it's a, just an old vintage planter. I think I've shown that here before. I'm sorry about the shadows. It's coming from the lighting. Uh, and then I just have these classics that I had found at a, I think I found that at a library sale. And then on the next shelf, these are just pretty books that I like. And I thought they looked pretty here. And then one of my pieces from Edisto. And then this is the top of one of the desk areas. Those are just some books that I am about to start reading. And now we'll go to the other side. Now these books are some of the books um, that are just Christian reference books. Uh, handbooks. By the way, that book right there on Ephesians, that is the best book if you're studying Ephesians. It's just like the most comprehensive commentary on Ephesians. And then this is my pride and joy. That is my Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones Romans. It took him years. <laughs> he started in the 1950s. Uh, Every Friday, they would get together and he would preach on, on Romans. And he started in, you know, chapter one and went through. And it took years <laughs> for him to do uh, those. And every morning, I, I listen to him, I mean, preach a sermon on, it's supposed to be lessons, but he's preaching. He's a preacher. And uh, the, the sermons are about 50 minutes. And every morning right now, I am listening to those and... I am on volume um, 9, chapter 9. Then these are just some other uh, Christian books that I have that are nonfiction. And then I have my C.S. Lewis. I don't have all the C.S. Lewis books, but I do want to eventually read all of the C.S. Lewis books. Now, some of these aren't nonfiction, but I just grouped them together. And then I have some other just Christian nonfiction there. And then down on this shelf, these are some books that were gifted to me that I really want to get to soon. And I'm trying to spin a wheel and get to these, but I may just start picking them up and just reading them because it's taking too long. And then we have uh, my desk area here that's blank right now, but that's my desk area. Okay, so here's some more um, Christian nonfiction and fiction. These are my Catherine Marshall books that I'm trying to read through, and Christie, and a couple of other books, and then this is just some, these are some Valentine, that's a Valentine series, and then on the next one, those are series that I just love right there, and then I have a couple of Grace Livingston Hill, I don't have many, but I, I do plan on collecting some Grace Livingston Hill, because I do love, um, her writing. So this is just some Christian fiction that I have. This is one of my favorite books. I don't know if I talk about that book, but I love that book. It won the Christie when it was published. I love that one. And then on the next one, these are just some old uh, books I have. This book right here <clears throat> um, is one of my favorite books. It is a collection of no novellas, and they're all set in South Carolina. And um, I was friends with the author. She passed away several years ago, but she was such a great writer, Christian writer, and just a wonderful person. And she was always at our writing conference. She actually started one of the uh, writing conferences for Christian fiction. Beautiful person. And then I have these. And then this is just a little planner, another little vintage planner. And I keep bookmarks in the back of it right here. And then these are just some notebooks I have, reading journals and some notebooks and things here. And then I have this little stand here. Um, one of you gave me this beautiful card. And I just want you to know when you do give me beautiful cards, I keep them because I like to put them out. So... Right here, I'm just going to rotate through cards that uh, different subscribers send me because they're just so beautiful. And they add so much to the space. Now we're going to go to this side. 
over here. Up here I have my um, Jane Austen books. Of course, she is a favorite, and I love her works. I've read everything um, that she's written, <laughs> and, and I read them over and over because I always participate in Jane Austen July. These books right here are just Jane Austen related, and since we do have Jane Austen July, I keep them here so that I always have um, books to pull from for Jane Austen July. And then over here, these are some Georgette Hare books. I have not read any Georgette Hare, and I have these. So where should I start? Let me know. The next shelf, I have some Barbara Pym. I do love her writing. And then I have some um, Victoria Holt and Mary Stewart. Mary Stewart's a great one. I love her work, and I have a huge collection of hers. And then I have some Roseman Pilcher over here, and I haven't read um, but a few of these, so I really need to get to some of these because I, I love her writing too. Okay, so the next row, we have my um, quilting, the Elm Creek Quilt series. I think I have all of these except for one. And then I just recently talked about reading yours cheerfully. I loved Mrs. Bird. And then one of you, well, a couple of you mentioned that there is a third one, so I want to get it. And then these are just some other books. I have Susan Meisner. Love Susan Meisner. And the only one I haven't read in this stack is the top one. I just recently picked that book up. This is the next shelf. I have uh, the Foresight Saga I found at, all of these books I think I found at a, uh, thrift store and then I have that Delderfield series. I've pulled the first one off because I might read it for the big books of summer. Kate Morton is a favorite author for me and then I have some Susanna Kearsley and then just some random other ones that I do love. Bridges of Madison County's in there. Who remembers that book? I loved that book actually when it came out. It's been many years ago. Uh, but I did love that book. Now, I was in my 20s, I think, <laughs> when it came out. And then the next one, these are just some, um, I think, may, mainly historical fiction. There's some back in the little cubby there that you can't see. Now, this is in the window. And so, I have these, um, I have two sets of these uh, bookends. And so, one has these books in it. These are just some books I'm interested in reading soon. Then I just propped up this cute little book. And then at the very bottom, at the floor, I have my short story collections and poetry. I have other short story collections, but um, these are the ones I didn't know where else to put, so that's down there. And this is where I have my um, Daphne du Maurier books. I love, she is a favorite, obviously. There is... Um, that is a biography about Daphne du Maurier. And then these are just some paperbacks. And then I have some Shirley Jackson. And then just some random gothic fiction that I just felt went with <laughs> Shirley Jackson. Over here we have my, I'm not going to go through all of these, but this is my section for um, mysteries. And I have a lot of mysteries because... I do read a lot of mysteries. I enjoy Agatha Christie the most, and so she takes up the most space over here on these shelves because I want to collect everything that is Agatha Christie. So these are all Agatha Christie's, those are hardbacks. The others were paperbacks. And then I have another shelf down here of more, uh, just an extension of my Agatha Christie. This section I hope to fill up with more Agatha Christie because I do love her so much. And then I have some other series down here that um, some of them I have started and read one or two books, and then others I haven't even started. I found these again. Thrift stores, library sales, that's where I find most of my books because if you follow my channel, you know that I am all about vintage. And then this is empty, so this means that I have more room down here. 
I decided to just sit these books out because uh, they are green like my chair and I just thought they were pretty. And so they will sit here until I start filling up this space. On this side we have my Victorian collection. These are all uh, the Brontes. This is all Bronte. Then I have um, some Lewis Carroll. If you go to the next section, I have a few Wilkie Collins here. And then I start my Dickens. And Dickens takes up um, two shelves, I think. <laughs> so I still have a little room for more Dickens. Um, and then I have um, this beautiful set of books that my husband bought me. He gradually would find these, and now I have the whole set of the Charles Dickens in this, and I love reading from these books. It's like reading just a storybook for bedtime. Down here is just more um, Victorian random titles that I have. Some of these, like Kipling, I think he's part, and then McDonald, I think they're part Victorian, and then they kind of extend out, but I put it in Victorian because they start there. And then I have some Trollope here, and I love Trollope. I haven't read much Trollope, but I do want to continue. Oscar Wilde, I love Oscar Wilde. These books, I didn't know where to put, but they fit in Victorian. Now, at the bottom down here, I have just some most of these right here, I think, on this shelf are American classics. So Edgar Allan Poe and uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Fitzgerald, um, Ernest Hemingway, uh, Flannery O'Connor. I'm a huge Flannery O'Connor fan. I know a lot of people, <laughs> they, they don't get along with her, but I really do. I love her, um, her take on just life. These are more classics on the next one. I've read a lot of these, but I still have a lot more to go. So that's those. Sorry if you can't see. I'm trying my best. Uh, these are just some nonfiction that I have. Uh, just random nonfiction books that, well, I just didn't know where to put them, so I stuck them here. We just finished this section here, right here. So we're going to go up here to the top over this window. These are my Ray Bradbury books. And then after I have my Ray Bradbury collection, I have like Charles Beaumont and some Twilight Zone related things, sci-fi sort of things. And then these are adult raw doll. This is uh, the other window. <clears throat> and these are the books that I have for the big book of summer, big books of summer. A reading challenge so that's that collection and I'm just gonna pick and choose as I go then down here underneath I just have some random these books were taller so I didn't know where to put them so they are down here and then there are this Lord of the Rings related things so up at the top I have Nancy Drew and then the Dana girls a few Hardy boys and um, one of my subscribers sent me this collection of Bobsy Twins, so I need to get to those. And then over here, I love Phyllis Whitney, The Old Middle Grade Mysteries. So that's what that is. And then on the next shelf, I have some Beverly Gray, um, some Margaret Sutton, and then I have my Beverly Cleary books, because I do love Beverly Cleary, Wind in the Willows. These are just some favorite books from the past that I enjoyed. On this shelf, I have just some classics, Little House on the Prairie, more Little House related books, and then these are just some classics and other books I want to read. Some of them I have read, but a couple of them I haven't. Then down here we have D.E. Stevenson, Love, 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 James Harriet. I've pulled one of these because I'm going to read it this summer. Then we have some Miss Reed down here. 
And then we have Lucy Maud Montgomery. Of course, we love her. So I have a whole shelf just of Lucy Maud Montgomery books. There. And then we have a few Louisa May Alcott books. The Miss Julia series I've just started, but I do have several of those. And then these are the books I have for At Home in Midford. And then these are some Phyllis Whitney, but these are adult Phyllis Whitney. Then a couple of Elizabeth Van Arnhem books um, are all over here. And then some classics. These are more just classics. Now, at the bottom, I do have space so I can add, <laughs> which I'm thrilled about. That is just an old a picture book from my childhood. My husband found a copy of it. I loved that book. It's weird, but I loved it. So up at the very top, these are my Newberry winners, and I am trying to read all of the Newberries. Those are the ones that um, I have collected so far. I don't think they're in order. They were <laughs> until I got in here. Uh, and then I just have some space here, so I just show a couple of my favorite picture books. I love that story, Imogene's Antlers. Have you read that? This is my son's collection of um, Choose Your Own Adventure books. And then some other favorites. That is a signed copy of Hatchet by Gary, Gary Paulson. I met him on two different occasions. And then these are just some series that I have here. That last series is The Littles. Do you remember that series? So cute. Those first couple of books here, the Bailey School Kids, I had when I taught school. And then I love this little section. So uh, these will be books that I read with my grandbaby. So I'm excited about that because I love these. Elijah, well, he was just learning to read when these books started coming out. So he loves Elephant and Piggy too. And then I have a few um, classics right here, children's classics. And then these are just some random middle grade books that I have. Middle grade, young adult, a few fantasy type books. And then I do have extra space, so I did put out a few books just to make it pretty. But I'm glad that I have um, extra space. And then these are just picture books. And then at the very bottom, these are more picture books. So there you are. That is my new library. Thank you again to my husband for uh, building all these shelves and taking so much time to make it so beautiful. I love it. I am just in heaven in this room. I love it so much. Let me know in the comments if you noticed a book um, that I haven't talked about or a book that's your favorite on my shelf or a book that you think I should add to this new library. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.